Hi guys, so we're making one more stop here. We're in Maple Park, Illinois, which has a population of 1,400. Um, I'm stopping at a local ag bank that uh, they, these banks that specialize in lending to farmers who need uh, a, a short-term loan to buy seed for their farms. Um, and then once the crop comes in, they, they pay the bank back. So that's that's how these uh, ag banks work. But uh, there's one here that's got two old tractors in front of it. Um, they don't really have a plaque or anything. Um, one's a John Deere and the other one's a farm oil. Uh, so the John Deere is the green one and the farm oil is the red one. They're probably 30, 1930s, 1940s. 40 um, year. I don't know. I'll let the, the tractor experts tell me on my channel. So comment below if you can tell me exactly what year these tractors are. But anyway, the John Deere, which was, you know, John Deere's headquarter is in Moline, Illinois, which is on the west side of Illinois. So um, there's kind of a connection there to uh, John Deere tractors and as you drive through the farming area of uh, Midwest and Northern Illinois, you'll see a lot of green tractors and those are the old John Deere's. Um, people have been, been using them for many years to farm their land. And, um, you know, they're a loved, loved commodity, although I've seen some stuff on the internet where there's uh, a distaste for John Deere recently because they're they're not allowing um, the farmers access to the software um, to fix them or modify them and uh, some of the farmers don't like that but anyway so I'm gonna get out of the car we're going to then take a look at these uh, tractors and then we'll head on our way and this is right on Oh, the other part is this is on US 30 which cuts directly east to west across uh, northern Illinois which is also known as um, the Lincoln Highway. Um, so this goes directly across to Illinois and heads all the way out to, I guess it starts in Times Square area in New York and goes all the way to uh, San Francisco area, I believe. Um, pretty much straight across the United States. So um, there, there's two iconic roads in Illinois. One is US 30. The other one is US 66, which kind of cuts on a diagonal from... Uh, I don't know exactly where that one starts, but it goes down through St. Louis area and, and out to the southwest, I believe, uh, Phoenix and that area. But um, so Illinois has got two iconic roads and you'll see a lot of people in their antique cars and stuff riding those roads and just because of the nostalgia and everything uh, um, associated with it. So, OK, we're going to go look at the tractors and uh, that should be it for the day. Not sure what the B stands for. That's an interesting question that I would like to know. And there, looks like the other one. This has got the place where you have the pulley or whatever, where you can put a belt to drive accessories. It's got the iconic yellow seat, green paint job, yellow wheels. It's an old one. You got a headlight on it there. There's a smokestack. Here's the farm all. It's red. It looks like this one's probably newer. Uh, I believe this is, at one point became part of International Harvester, yeah. McCormick Farm All, made in the USA, International Harvester, Chicago, Illinois. So they were actually headquartered in Chicago, which um, 
that's probably a fun fact. I don't think people would tell, believe that a farming a mechanical company like that would be headquartered in Chicago. Maybe in the suburbs, but not downtown Chicago. That must have been a long time ago. And this has got two headlights. Red and white seat. Pretty much black and red. A little bit of gray there on the tires. So I'm thinking this is probably 45, 50. The John Deere looks a little bit older. That could probably go into the 30s, I would imagine. But once again, you guys, if you know anything about this, let me know. I'm not a tractor expert, to say the least. So here we are, we're in, like I said, Maple Park, Northern Illinois Egg Center in Maple Park. Population 1400, and there is Lincoln Highway, US 30, I believe. Cars heading west on US 30.